I mean, went through a whole life or something like this. <laughs> uh, I, I just wish I was like 20 or something. So that's my life to study them. First of all, one of my colleagues, Anna Kabinska, noticed this little circle. And a few days later, another colleague found another one, and then I found another one. And, and that was that's really exciting. It's the sort of thing that an astronomer dreams of the entire career, is finding something that nobody's ever seen before. I wish I could come right now and say, well, actually, I know what they are, and they're this. And, and we can't, we actually don't know. We really, really don't know. So my guess, we now think that they're quite a long way away, about a billion light years away. And we think that they have a, a galaxy in the middle of them. And we think something's gone off in that galaxy, some humongous explosion. And we think these circles may be an expanding spherical shockwave coming out of the galaxy. That's my best guess, but it is only a guess. I think it's significant when you find something that you weren't expecting. Often it own, opens up a whole new area of understanding. Um, but you've actually got no way of predicting what that's going to be. It might turn up some really new physics, I hope. It would be great when somebody has that eureka moment and says, hey, I realise this is what they are. So this was a continual journey of going out to the universe, finding new stuff, finding more about how we came to be here, and also finding out about new physics. And you never know where that's going to go. You know, you look at the things we take for granted, electronics, radio signals, Wi-Fi, all those things have their foundations in people doing basic science and going out and taking a look. And that's ultimately the benefit to humankind. <laughs>